Okay, now this is probably one of the most preferred way to shoot the handle technique. So here I have the Tamron lens normally 100, 400, 80, the 170, 500 or the 170, 600, 200, 600. So these are the different range where people prefer the handle. Now one of the key techniques when it comes to handled uh, photography is to make sure your entire body basically works as a tripod or a monopod. So basically your whole body should give you a proper support. Now in this case what happens you have your subject any of those things. The normal tendency what people do is they just casually stand like this and cluck 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 they start shooting. That is not the way. So main thing is like depending on the lens you have. So sometimes what happens you have this tripod collar which will be down. So my recommendation is if you are shooting handled. So this tripod collar which is down so loosen it and make sure you take it up. So basically you have to make sure this whole thing goes up and then you have basically proper cupping mechanism. So you basically hold your hand and you cup the lens. So here if you see now, so you cup the lens such that the entire center of gravity rests on your hand. So okay, so don't hold it front or even at the back. Okay, so hold it whichever is comfortable position and then so that is your holding position. So basically cupping the lens is the first important factor. Next comes the actual standing position especially for handle if you are using these kind of long lenses. Put one of the legs forward, so this is very important. Put one of the legs forward, then basically hold the hand like this. You have cupped the lens and then everything, both the hands basically tuck it in and pull the lens closer to your body. So if you see one leg forward, so the hand should never be free, tuck it in and then hold the whole equipment towards your face, pull it towards your face, you do not go forward. So this is basically the standing technique. Now once you are in this particular technique, you see your subject, beautiful subject, so you focus and then the key thing, so please listen to me carefully for this point, the key thing is just at the time of shutter release, hold your breath. So you will get complete stability with this technique and even because of the long lens, little bit of breathing also brings in a lot of shake in your lens. So I would expect you all to have IS, VR, OS, this uh, stabilization technology within the lens, especially for handheld to get this to get this sharp crisp images. Of course, this holding the breath technique, uh, make sure you do not use it for any of the long exposure shots. Okay, So go ahead, wherever you are walking and also if you are having a long lens, make sure you can just hold it like this. Okay, So a lot of times what I do, so since it will be heavy, so I just put it on like this on my shoulder and I walk around like this. I see something get in position immediately, cup the lens, bird in flight, whatever and then at the time of click, hold your breath. That is important. So go ahead, employ this technique and I am pretty sure even any kind of in the safari, even while walking and shooting, any of these things you do, you are going to get good crisp sharp images if you follow this. So in fact, handled I have shot even 1 by 15th of a second, 1 by 25th of a second, very low shutter speed I have used and still ended up getting crisp sharp images. So go ahead, try it out. Okay.